All right, humans, here is the menu where you can decide how you want to watch this video. If you click the top option, you'll watch the match normally. It'll be at normal speed, you'll hear my commentary, you'll get all that good stuff. If you click the middle option, you'll actually be able to watch the match sped up without my commentary and with music instead. So if you want to watch the entire match condensed down into like two minutes without my commentary, that's the option for you. If you click the bottom option, you'll get to see my vlog of the Pokemon Symphonic Evolutions concert. When I went there, this is where this match took place. So if you just want to see the vlog in general, then you can click the bottom most option. If you don't click anything within the next couple of seconds or so, then the video will just play normally as if you click the top option. Enjoy, humans! Hello humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and today I've got another Pokemon Bata match for you guys. Now this is a match that I had when I was in Washington DC attending the Pokemon Symphonic Evolutions concert. This match features YouTubers such as Rogers Bass, Hayden Makesum, and Giancarlo Paramango11. In fact, that's all of them, plus myself. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't record this match live because we were sitting at a convention center when this happened, but I did save the match to the versus recorder, so hopefully that's sufficient. Okay, so I do have to post-commentate this match, and I hate it when I have to do that, but alas, I have to do that. So here we go. Hayden Makesum is on my team. He has a Meowstic, a Kangaskhan, and a Gyarados, and his endgame name is Cherubim, or whatever. And then John Car Giancarlo Paramango11 and Rogers Base are on the opposing team with Excadrill, Garchomp, Talonflame, Marowak, Metacham, and Rotom. And of course, I've got my Breloom, Lucario, and Gudra. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this match. Let's go ahead and dive on in. So here we go, tag battle, all that good stuff. It was a little difficult to actually coordinate this battle because we're sitting right across from each other. So if we wanted to, if we wanted to communicate with our partner, we would have to lean over and show each other our 3DSs and point out which attacks we should use. Anyway, I'm starting off with Broom, my Breloom, and my partner starting off with the Meowstic. Giancarlo and Roger's base are starting off with Rotom and Talonflame, and I figure that Talonflame is a great threat toward my Breloom, so I call Breloom back and send out Yudra, my Gudra, because I figured she can take a hit. Of course, that Talonflame does go for a Brave Bird. If it was toward my Breloom, it would have been four times super effective toward her, but it's not. It's going toward that Meowstic, which is thankfully able to take the hit. And that Talonflame suffers from some nasty recoil damage. Meowstic's going for Swagger. It's going to boost that Talonflame's attack so that if it hurts itself in confusion, because it's about to get confused right now, it'll pretty much kill itself. But, we do have to hope that it does hurt itself in confusion. That Rotom's putting up a light screen, so special attacks won't deal as much damage towards them, and that's unfortunate because both of the Pokemon on the field are special attackers. That said, however, it's not going to stop me from attacking it. That Meowstic's going for Quick Guard, so each of us can take one hit, should that Talonflame strike us. But, unfortunately, it does strike us. The Quick Guard protects me, but the Thunderbolt does not protect the Meowstic because the Quick Guard is gone. Once one Pokemon attacks that Quick Guard, the Quick Guard is no longer in effect, so the Meowstic is unfortunately down and out. I do go for Thunderbolt, trying to take down that Talonflame, and unfortunately I am not successful! That bird just won't go down! My partner Hayden sends out a Gyarados, lowering the attack stats of Rotom and Talonflame. If the Talonflame hurts itself in confusion, it's gonna kill itself anyway, and he just thought that Gyarados was the next best thing to send out. Talonflame gets called on back, and John sends out Garchomp! A very unfortunate Pokemon for both of us on the field. And, that ro and the Gyarados is going for Protect. I'm going for Dragon Pulse, but I did not target the Talonflame. I should have, but I did not. I was going for Rotom, because I figured that the Talonflame would have just killed itself. But I should have targeted Talonflame, because even if it did kill itself, my Dragon Pulse would have gone toward Rotom anyway. Regardless, that Garchomp is Mega Evolving into Mega Garchomp. And that's bad news for me, because my Gudra cannot take a super effective hit from a Mega Garchomp. That is going to kill Gudra. I'm sorry, Gudra! But unfortunately, she is down and out. Thunderbolt strikes that Gyarados down, and with it being four times super effective, that Gyarados is out for the count. So as you can see, both of us are just getting destroyed by John and Roger here. My partner sends in Kangaskhan, and he, as he gets ready to Mega Evolve it, I send in Breloom once again. I figure she's the best bet for now. That Kangaskhan does indeed Mega Evolve, and... Thankfully, that Kangaskhan does have Fake Out, which guarantees a flinch on whoever it's used on. On whomever it's used on, I'm sorry. So that Kangaskhan does go for Fake Out. It fakes out the Garchomp, so that Garchomp's not going to be attacking this turn. And my Breloom does have Seed Bomb, so I'm going to go ahead and try to take down that Rotom. So Seed Bomb strikes this Rotom, and it is super effective, and it is enough to take down the Rotom. So finally, we have taken down something on our opponent's team. 
teams. A light screen wears off, it doesn't matter, both of our Pokemon on the field right now are physical attackers. Roger sends in a Marowak, now that's interesting. Marowak isn't a Pokemon that I see too often, but you gotta remember that Marowak is a very, very, very hard hitter. Like, incredibly hard hitting. Now that Garchomp does go for Fire Fang, it does take out my Breloom, but my Breloom has Effect Spore, which makes it so that if a Pokemon makes physical contact with my Breloom, some sort of status ailment will be inflicted onto my opponent. So since he used Fire Fang, a physical attack, he got inflicted with Sleep, a status ailment. Now that, that Marowak is going for Paris Song, which makes it so that every Pokemon on the field in three turns will faint. Since this is my partner's last Pokemon, in three turns he's about to lose the battle, so we pretty much have to win this battle in three turns or we're going to lose. My last Pokemon's Lucario. I'm going to Mega Evolve my Lucario so I can get a nice power and speed boost. Now my Mega Lucario does have Ice Punch, which is super effective toward both Pokemon on the field because both Pokemon are Ground-type Pokemon. But I figured that we should just go for the Marowak because that Garchomp's asleep. It's not going to be hurting anybody for at least one turn. My opponent's Mega King has gone just for Power Up Punch, and due to its ability, it gets to strike twice and therefore gets two Power Ups from using the attack. That Garchomp's still asleep. My Mega Lucario is about to go for Ice Punch. It lands a powerful blow on this Marowak, but it's not enough to take it out. So that Marowak is still alive, it goes for Bumerang, and it one-shots my Mega Lucario. Like I said, that thing is a very, very powerful Pokemon. It hits hard. So I'm out of this battle. This Mega Kangaskhan has to win this battle in two turns, which is actually impossible because one of the opponents still has three Pokemon left. So at this point, it's just trying to see how much damage we can do before the match ends. My opponent does switch out a Mega Garchomp for an Excadrill. That Excadrill, I guess, has an Air Balloon. This Mega King is going here is going for Power Up Punch. It is enough to take out this Marowak here while still getting another attack boost. So that's nice. But at this point, things are looking pretty bad. This is the last turn for Kangaskhan, so. Sad days, human, sad days. You probably know how this battle is going to turn out. Okay, so Roger here has a meta champ. He uses fake out, making it so that Kangaskhan can't even attack this turn. And to add insult to misery, that Excadrill is going for Rock Slide, which normally makes Pokemon flinch. And Mega Kangaskhan is down and out due to the Paris song, which means Hayden and I have lost this battle to Roger's base in John Carlo Paramango 11. Good game, guys. Good game. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we lost, but it is always fun to do a good old tag battle once in a while. Anyway. That about wraps up this video with Pokemon Baton, I would like to thank you all for watching. The sped up variation of this match will play in just a moment, and if you would like to leave a request against me, please refer to the link in the description. Thank you Roger, Hayden, and Giancarlo Paramango11 for having this battle with me. It was fun hanging out with you guys in Washington DC, but now I've got to go ahead and <laughs> edit this video. So again, the sped up variation of this match will play in just a moment. For now, that about wraps up this video, I'd like to thank you all for watching, see you all in future videos, Bye bye humans!